What is up everyone? Welcome to the channel. So right now I'm about to switch it up a bit. We about to get into a little bit of comedy. We have Justin Whitehead 87 for uh I guess this is like some type of infomercial for Miracle Water. He says, if you believe this shit works, then I got some magic beans for sale. Call me now for a risk-free trial, you goddamn clown. <laughs> so let's get to it. The little, 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 little lying son of a bitch. You ain't Lee is going smooth as hell. When you wait the Lord to get a hold of your goddamn ass for, for lying and scamming. For you ain't life. felt the pain yet. He <laughs> 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 said, wait till the Lord get a hold of your ass. <laughs> you ain't felt the pain yet. <laughs> Shitty nigga man. Oh suffering. boy. You've been in pain. I just feel that pain subsided, Liz. I feel that too. And I feel that somebody out there has COPD. Oh. You're having a hard time breathing. Oh, you here. feel that, huh? I'm on oxygen right now. But I know that God can open those bronchi and, and help you to breathe. And little, 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 little line, bitch. Maybe you can't even get it out. But I just know that something is keeping you from breathing freely. Yeah, asthma, bitch. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> he said, <laughs> he said, yeah, as <laughs> Oh shit! Little line, bitch. You can't even get it out. Oh fuck! Yeah, asthma, bitch. I know it's something to keep you from breathing freely. Oh, it's exciting. When God's power begins to flow, doors open. They going to hell with a goddamn scholarship. <laughs> People are healed, blessed financially, in an amazing way. That's what Ain't God this wants a bitch. For you, and that's why we want you to have the powerful... No good and goddamn well. That little packet of fucking something that spring water ain't help nobody. You can use to release the miracle working power of God. And as I talk to you, I can just feel that there are... You can't feel a goddamn thing. ...right now that feel you're trapped. You're in a situation... Why where I got to put the black dude on the stage? They go and find a damn nigga anyway yeah. that want to be a part of this shit. <laughs> yeah. No idea, well, that ain't got shit to do with that. And he probably lost his job, and she probably trying to reassure him. <laughs> That's bullshit. And you're insane... To yourself, there's no way out. Well, do you know there's you can't some do dill park and a goddamn ketchup pack and sell it to a nigga? That typifies and signifies your situation. I used to hate these dumbass infomercials. They used to usually come on like when they get late at night. That's when he, when this bullshit came on. I remember um, I was at my dad's house and it was something. It was like. Um, a pray off, like a battle who can pray the best. Like, what the fuck? How do you have a pray off? Elijah was surrounded by the enemy. Boy, I tell you the truth. He was he constipated. Look at his face. These sons of bitches going to hell, boy. Yep. <laughs> no way out. No way out. Maybe you're in that situation. Yeah, it's gonna be no way out for y'all asses. See your way clear. God already had everything. I don't give a goddamn how much I struggle. I'm not picking up the phone and calling the son of a bitch and send me a pack of water. If you believe that water help, I got some fucking magic beans for your ass. I got some goddamn magic beans for you. You take these beans and you throw them out your fucking back window. Clap your hands together, stomp your feet, and scratch your right ass cheek two times. And whatever you want in the morning, they're going to be there. <laughs> if you want a car, it's in your driveway. 
If you want some money, it'll be in your bank account. Call me now for your yeah. magic beans. Praise. Son of a bitch. Say, Lord, open the eyes of my servant so that he can see. Yes, I mean, no damn sense, so boy. That he can but it's the bigger goddamn stand. Like Whoa, that boy. That can see. Get this damn Lego and man off my fucking TV. That Reverend Peter Popoff is saying. Yeah, that was some bullshit. <laughs> Let's look at the comments. He said ass while I was screaming. Yeah, that shit was funny as hell. Laughing my ass off, he do look like the Lego man. This main caption said, I got magic beads. Call me for a risk for trial. <laughs> Baby, I holler, laughing my ass off. I can't stand this commercial. I get an attitude every time I call him a fraud. Laughing my ass off because ain't no way. Checking my effing head like his name alone is a joke. Peter Popoff. Laughing my ass off like please. Like that ain't they real names. Peter Popoff. Going to hell on the scholarship. I am cracking the fuck up because it wasn't until the end when I say this was a spiritual type of water. Laughing my ass off. They sick for the lies. <laughs> This shit is crazy. And hey, them churches, they be scamming, boy. Be straight scamming. Peterpopoff.org. <laughs> Screen water, man. I'm about to see if this shit real. Let me see something real quick. Peter Popoff. That's his name? What the fuck? Peter George Popoff is a televent and debunked clairvoyant and faith healer. He was exposed in 1986 for using a concealed earpiece to receive radio messages from his wife who gave him the names, addresses, and ailments of audience members during Popoff. Yeah, he looked like a damn scammer. And that's what they do. They hide behind the whole religious thing because you know people is looking for something to bring meaning to their life. And they scam their way into your pockets. 75 years old. Yeah, y'all asses is just wait on it. Peterpopoff.org. Ain't this some bullshit? <laughs> scam everlasting. <laughs> His scams are endless. God dang. Oh well, but that shit was funny as hell, boy. <laughs> but anyways, guys, that's gonna pretty much do it for this reaction. As always, I appreciate you all for tuning in. Before you go, be sure to drop a like, a comment, and be sure to hit that subscribe button. Other than that, until the next one, peace. <laughs>